guys, I haven't filmed in this room in like three months, it feels like. It's been so long that a friggin' plant grew behind me. Should really take care of that. It's game of the year season. I love this time of year. Last year I made one of these videos. It was just kind of like a, cause I love game of the year awards. Uh, last year we had God of War, Red Dead Redemption, Spider-Man, Celeste, and another game that I can't remember right now. It was a huge year. This year is a little less huge. There's a couple of big games like Smash and Death Stranding, but it's definitely not up there with the level of God of War. However, there's a bunch of different categories to vote on. I'm gonna get to that very quickly. I have Kim here with me as well. Say hi, Kim. Hello. She's gonna be an impartial judge if I get stuck on any of these, because you vote on everything. Alright, so right at the top, we have the big ones for the year, but let's not look at that. Let's go all the way down to VR, AR, Game of the Year, and then work our way back up. So right away, I can already tell you, B-Saber wins this hand to freaking down. But, uh, Trevor Saves the Universe was really good, and Blood and Truth was pretty good. It's just so obvious that, yeah, Beat Saber. You voted for Beat Saber. I got a token for it, too. Oh, I forgot! I got a brand new flavor of G Fuel. It's Peach Frickin' Cobbler! Perfect for the Thanksgiving season, and it actually does smell delicious, and I've been really excited for this because I love Peach Cobbler, and I'm looking at Kim because I know she has interest in this, too. You gonna try it? <laughs> It tastes like peach cobbler! It's so good! <laughs> I can't drink too much of that because it's already 10 o'clock at night. I don't know how they do it without sugar. G Fuel, 30% off if you're not too late. And if you are too late, 10% off. Code beat em up. Strategy game. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, I feel bad for Wargroove being in there with Fire Emblem. That's sad because I really like Wargroove. My vote is definitely on Fire Emblem. Mostly because I haven't played any of the other ones apart from Wargroove. Okay, sports racing game. Crash Team Racing or a, a bunch of FIFA type games. I think I know which one I'm going with. The one I play. <laughs> uh, score and music. Oh, this one is legit. Really, actually, re this was hard last year as well. Cadence of Hyrule is incredible. Death Stranding is actually pretty good too. I love Devil May Cry's music and I just reviewed Sayonara Wild Hearts and like that game is worth buying just for the music alone. But I have to show the indie love and go with Cadence. I don't think Cadence will win though. <laughs> it'll probably be Kingdom Hearts or Death Stranding because people love Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, I mean, true, but I think Death Stranding's gonna take it. Best role-playing game. Disco, Final Fantasy, Kingdom Hearts 3, Monster Hunter, Outer Worlds. I haven't played Outer Worlds, so I feel bad voting for it, but I definitely think that's gonna be the one. I'm voting for a game I didn't play. Come at me, it's my video. <laughs> Best performance, Ashley in Outer Worlds, Courtney in Control, Laura in Gears 5, Mads in Death Stranding, Norman Reedus in Death Stranding, and Matthew in Control. Wow, that is tough. I think it comes down for me personally, Laura, Mads, or Norman. Um, and I cried at the end of Death Stranding, thanks to Normie Boy, so I think I have to go Norman. Ongoing game, Apex, Destiny 2, Final Fantasy, Fortnite, Tom Clancy. I feel like if they allow eight-year-olds to vote, Fortnite will take it. I think anyone's allowed to vote. And honestly, I had the same argument for this last year. It's best ongoing game. Like, what game is the best at continually putting out new content? And I mean, just out of the ones I've played here, I mean, I'm not saying Fortnite's the best game because it's not the one I prefer here, but for ongoing content, they smash it. This is so good. I am gonna drink it you're all. You're gonna drink the whole thing and you're gonna be awake till tomorrow. Narrative. Oh, A Plague's Tale, Control, Death Stranding again, Outer Worlds, Disco. Okay, Death Stranding or Plague Tale? Yeah, it definitely comes down to Plague Tale or Death Stranding, without a doubt. I really liked Plague's Tale, but I, Death Stranding's narrative is just, it was beyond expectation. I like Death Stranding. I haven't made my review yet, so I'm kind of giving spoilers for that right now. Multiplayer game, Apex, Borderlands 3, Tetris 99. <laughs> That's not real! Is it? I mean, I play it. It's... I feel like they should have done a battle royale category. Battle royale category wouldn't be a bad idea. Multiplayer game. I don't think multiplayer when I think Tetris. I'm gonna have to go Borderlands because I had a lot of fun playing that. Mobile game. Call of Duty, Grindstone, Sayonara. I haven't played any of these on mobile, but I love Sayonara on Switch. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do that. Independent game. Baba is You, Disco, Katana, Zero, Outer Worlds, Untitled Goose Game. It's Yay. so obvious. You see Goosey, Goosey, Goosey. 
Chrissy. Games for Impact, Concrete Genie, Gris, Kind Words, Life is Strange 2, Sea of Solitude. I've actually been really excited to play Sea of Solitude, but I haven't got around to it. Gris was beautiful, and Life is Strange 2 I also haven't got around to starting. So I can't really vote on this one, so I'll leave it up to you, and I know you haven't played any of them I either. I really <laughs> wanted to play Concrete Genie, so I can't really say anything either. Uh, uh, games for Impact. I don't feel like any of these really thought-provoking... Hmm. Ooh. Insufficient disk space to continue recording. What? Whatever, I'm just gonna vote for Gris because that's the one I've played. Game Direction, Control, Death Stranding, Resident Evil 2, Sekiro, and Outer Worlds. That is an impossible one. Game Direction, I can't give to Death Stranding because as much as I loved it, I felt like the game direction was all over the place. Resident Evil 2 had fantastic game direction and I would say Sekiro did as well. And I haven't played Outer Worlds and I did not like Control's game direction. So it comes down to me, Resident Evil or Sekiro and I actually finished Resident Evil because it just kept I just kept wanting to play more and more fresh indie game My brain just like died for a second there fresh indie game presented by Subway <laughs> Because it's fresh What the <laughs> hell? So we're voting for the studio here. Oh untitled goose game ah, It just has to be goose game. Goose game is gonna take home so many wins Fighting game, Dead or Alive, Jump Force, uh, Mortal Kombat 11, you hear the snicker in my voice. Force, oh, it has to be Smash. There's not even a question, I'm sorry. Family game, Luigi's Mansion 3, Ring Fit, Mario 2, Smash Bros Ultimate. Look at Nintendo in this freaking category, man. I don't know, I mean, family game? I, I Smash is more of a siblings game. Mario Maker is more of a solo game. Ring Fit? Probably either Ring Fit or Yoshi because more than one person can play color. Uh, yeah, I think Yoshi is more of a family game. I mean, out of all of these, Yoshi is the one we sat down and played together. I'm gonna give it to Yoshi because I'm thinking of family game very literally. Esports team! Go ahead and do a little scrolly past that. Well, last year I actually voted on them just judging on like stupid things. So I'm gonna vote for Dota because I like Dota. Esports player, I think uh, this kid looks nice and friendly. This guy, this guy's aggressive. I don't wanna. Esports game of the year. Uh, ugh, 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 I can't vote for Blizzard. I can't vote for Blizzard right now. I'm gonna give it to Dota again. I haven't played Dota in years, but I used to love me some Dota. Content creator of the year. Here we go. Here I am. My nomination. All right, so we have me obviously somewhere in here. Jack uh, Dunlop, Benjamin Lupo, uh, don't, can't pronounce, David, my, wait. <gasps> Me? Audio design. Gears 5 had some fantastic audio design. You know what? That's my first choice. It's the first time I've seen Gears 5 on here. I need to give it a vote in something. Art direction. Control, Death Stranding, Gris, Sayonara, Sekiro, Link's Awakening. I love me some Link's Awakening, but it's not getting my art design. Death Stranding had some brilliant, brilliant world building art design. I think it comes down to Sekiro and Death, and I am gonna give it to Sekiro. Action adventure game. Borderlands 3, Control, Death. It's starting to get serious up here, by the way. Death Stranding, Resident Evil 2, oh. Death Stranding had some really quality action parts, but it was mostly adventure. I think Sekiro has the best mix of both action and adventure, if we're taking it very literally. But when I think action game, which I think is more what people are gonna lean towards, I think Resident Evil 2, that's a tough one. I think Sekiro will win that one, but I personally had more fun with Resident Evil. Action game. Oh, wait! I take it back. Sekiro. Resident Evil isn't here, but I gotta go by my own logic. Apex, Astral, Devil May Cry, Gears 5. I thought Gears 5. In fact, I am very surprised that Gears wasn't in Art Direction. If Gears was in Art Direction, that would have been an easy win for me. I'm actually a little annoyed that Gears wasn't in Art Direction. Oh, we're already at Game of the Year! Control, Death Stranding, Resident Evil 2, Sekiro, Smash, The Outer Worlds. What is the best game of the year? If you had to pick one based on just what you've seen, what would it be? I feel like there's some that could replace like Smash and control that I would have been more inclined to pick, but honestly, the story for Death Stranding is probably the best. Story-wise, Death Stranding had the best. I thought control was perfectly fine. I'm annoyed that Devil May Cry isn't in that spot. That 
Again, I haven't played Outer Worlds, and I already did think about this earlier. I love Death Stranding, Resident Evil, Sekiro, and Smash. I love all of those. And what makes this so difficult is all four of those are so extremely different. Such different games. In fact, Outer Worlds, if you add that in, all five of those are completely different genres. Control is kind of a lot like Resident Evil 2, but Resident Evil 2 was a lot better. <laughs> Uh, no offense, but yeah, it's so varied. It's hard to pick which is like the best one It absolutely comes down to preference at this point I mean if you like first-person shooters if you like fighters if you like action like Brutally difficult Dark Souls style games if you like horror thriller action games or if you like Whatever the heck Death Stranding was for me immediately it comes down to Death Stranding Resident Evil 2 or Super Smash then, um, if I start to really, really agonize over it, I would probably take Resident Evil 2 off. Just because if I'm putting Death Stranding and Resident Evil against each other, I was way more absorbed in Death Stranding. But then I'm left with Death and Smash. And at that point, I'm so torn because they are completely different games. It's impossible for me to say which one's better because they are both equally good in their own categories. And I know it sounds like I'm stalling, but the, I kind of am because I actually don't have an answer. My vote doesn't even matter. <laughs> but I still can't make this call. I'm trying to, in my brain, critically break these games down into their own individual categories, like music. I'd probably have to give to Smash. Art design, I'd probably have to go towards Smash. Game direction, I'd probably have to go towards Smash. Narrative obviously goes towards Death Stranding, but more categories are leaning towards Smash. And I think all around Smash is a more perfect game. The only thing is Smash is a multiplayer only game like where the Death Stranding did so many things for gaming and the gaming industry. It's also tough because Smash came out last year. It's been a year. Go away Smash. <laughs> Make this easier for me. You've had your time to shine. I wish I could vote for both purely because I think Smash is a more well-rounded game that doesn't need justification it goes to Smash. But on, uh, regardless of all of that, I'm pretty sure Sekiro is gonna win. <laughs> it just wasn't my game of the year, but I'm pretty sure Sekiro is gonna win game of the year because I think I think that game is, is a marvel and I think a lot of people are gonna vote for that one. All right, that's my game of the year. I'd love to know your game of the year though. For all these categories, get to work down below in the comment section and leave your favorites. I'm gonna be live streaming the game of the year event because last year it's where Nintendo dropped Joker in Smash. So maybe we'll get another DLC fighter for Smash. Maybe they'll make that a tradition. Like game of the year awards isn't just about the, these nominations, there's a bunch more surprises and secrets that get announced in the gaming world. It's really exciting and I'll be streaming it, so watch it December 12th. Buy some G Fuel Peach Cobbler, it's freaking delicious. Do you agree with my vote? Yeah. Yeah.